Hi guys, it's me, Kristen, and I'm here for my 13-week uh, post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. Um, I am super late. I usually do my, well, I usually try to do my updates on Wednesdays, and um, I was away visiting, I think I mentioned that in the last update video that I was going to visit my husband's oldest brother and his wife and kids um, together with my husband's other brother and his parents and my husband um, to Hessen um, and I was there until Thursday uh, in the morning and then we we left and I didn't get back until Thursday night and I wasn't gonna you know after eating all day and sitting in the car all day and stuff I wasn't gonna do my way in an update then um, and yesterday was just kind of busy so I really didn't get around to it um, you know life happens uh, so the funny thing is, is I, I had a feeling like while I was gone that I gained. And when I came back, um, you know, I weighed myself and I thought, well, that's not good, you know, to weigh myself at the end of the day after I've, you know, had everything and been sitting in the car and not active or anything. And um, then I weighed myself yesterday and I had gained a pound and a half. And I don't really know, I mean, I kind of ate, I wouldn't say I ate crappy, but I had a lot of carbs, like I had like a lot of bread and stuff like that. It was whole grain, you know, <clears throat> if you're going to eat bread, the good kind of bread to eat, um, but it was still too much. Now, I'm not one of those people who, not to say anything bad or anything against anybody, because, you know, everybody has their own plan and everybody does what's best for them, and that's great, but I'm not one to say I'm not going to have any carbs, because I don't know if it's PCOS or what it is, but I just, you know, if I completely restrict myself from carbs, I get these, like, carb monster attacks, and then I just feel like I'm going to go crazy if I don't have some. So I allow a little bit and that seems to be better than having none and then you know going crazy later. Um, so generally you know I have like a piece of bread and it's always like whole grain organic bread you know when I'm home um, and it's like dark bread it's I don't really I don't really eat white bread at all anymore. Um, but I, you know, I only have that a couple of times a week, so it's very, like, you know, occasional, and it's not, you know, something every day. But while I was down there visiting, I had bread, like, every day. And so, and I also, it was also that time of the month. So I don't know, you know, really if it was just that. I mean, because I was walking around and, you know, moving around and stuff like that. So it wasn't like I was completely inactive, and that's why I gained it, but... You know, I think maybe it's just a combination of things. I really didn't watch so much what I was eating while I was there. Um, but as soon as I came back that night, I went to the gym. And afterwards, I went for a walk. Then yesterday, I went to the gym and also went for a walk after that. And I don't know, probably walked a couple of miles yesterday. And so, funny enough, when I weighed myself this morning, I had already lost that extra pound and a half and more. Um... But, so I really don't know <laughs> what I'm going to count. I'll probably just count the, you know, the gain of a pound and a half um, for my, when I, you know, because I keep kind of like a journal of like my, my losses and stuff like that. So I'll probably just, you know, put that and then we'll see what happens next Wednesday. Um, but I intend to get back on the horse and, well, I already have gotten back on the horse, but, um, you know, try to make it to the gym three times next week. I tried this week. Um, I think I overdid it a little bit yesterday, so I'm not going to go today. Um, I feel really sore in my hip, and it's probably because um, I have these inlays in my shoes because my right leg is like a half a centimeter shorter than my left leg or something like that, and so I had switched shoes when I came back from vacation when I went to the gym. Maybe you guys don't want to know all this, but <laughs> um, I um, didn't put the inlays in the sneakers, and so that's probably why um, I feel like I overdid it a little bit. But anyway, um, the weight gain is probably a combination of things. The 
period and um, you know eating what I wanted and not really paying that much attention and having a little bit too much bread I wouldn't really say that I ate bad while I was there I think I had dessert like one time and I didn't even eat all of it and it was a children's portion so <laughs> my baby nephew finished it it was so cute um, <clears throat> so that's that really kind of a boring update I guess for this week I'm sorry it got dark all of a sudden but outside there's like shadows uh, because the, I have my blinds down and it was sunny and then a shadow came across I live in the city so we're in between buildings so I don't get direct sunlight but anyhow that's that for this week and hopefully um, the scale will be going in the right direction <laughs> with my next weigh in um, there was something that I wanted to talk about but I don't really have the time to go into it too deeply right now um, I have been dealing with recognizing that I have some issues that I didn't really think about uh, in the beginning of this weight loss journey and um, I think in order to be making a lot of progress I need to address some of these things so maybe I'll talk about it in my next video if the week's not so crazy busy um, sorry about it going dark again like this um, <laughs> I don't know it's kinda weird but anyways I hope you guys um, had a great week and you guys also have an awesome weekend um, we don't celebrate Memorial Day here um, there is a day that's similar to it but uh, the holidays are just different the way they're set up over here uh, we actually had a holiday last weekend and the beginning of this week so talk to you guys later sorry for rambling <laughs> bye